M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. So you have a DMR radio, but you've never used it because whenever you turn it on, you just can't hear anything. So let's see if we can solve that problem. There are three ways you can use your DMR radio. One way is you and your friend go out walking, you set the same frequency and you transmit and you're going to hear each other as long as you're, you know, there's no big mountain in the way. But generally people listen to their DMR radios using a hotspot or a DMR repeater. Now hotspots come in all shapes and sizes and you can see a long list here of different hotspots and I think in my opinion if you've got a digital radio DMR D Star Fusion you it's a must-have device if you ask me it's like having your own repeater in your house so the hotspot effectively connects your radio to the internet and on the internet you've got all the different talk groups where you can talk to individual users and also you can talk to groups of users using these talk groups now I've got a couple of images here showing different repeaters in operation. One is by myoffroad.com and you can see here in this image you've basically got a big antenna on a hill and all these different ham radio operators are talking and because the hill is high up and you get line of sight so a good direction for the signal to travel everyone can hear for, for a, a, a longer distance. And there's another image here where you've got even emergency services. They can't talk because there are obstructions like large buildings, ETC. So they use the repeater on a hill to transmit and you get DMR repeaters. The first thing to do is to find the repeaters near you and you're gonna need your grid number. So I'll put this link in the description. It's called whatsmylocator.co.uk. Put in, if you're, I'm in the UK of course, your postcode into the find locator and click search and my grid square here is IO81MI and you can see it here and I'm gonna copy that. So I've got that copy. Then go to, in the UK, we're using the Radio Society of Great Britain UK repeater list. And at the top here, we're gonna put in our grid our grid location and click calculate and it's going to calculate all of the repeaters that are near me and remember these are all voluntary repeaters and 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 are very appreciative of any donations so if it's one you use on a regular basis they would appreciate a few pounds so now that you've done this search you're going to look for the DMR repeater nearest to you so one here is called G3PWJ so I'm going to click that and that's going to give me all the information that I need to enter into my radio to listen to that DMR repeater. If you've got a hotspot as discussed, and this is the control panel of my hotspot receiving all the DMR traffic, you're going to learn, need to learn to how to configure that. Okay, and I'm just logging into the configuration page. I'm not going to show you a full tutorial, but you are going to need to have a DMR number and then there's the frequency here, look, 431550 of my hotspot. And this is what they call a simplex hotspot, which is commonly used by most hands. Okay, but I won't do that tutorial now. I'm going to assume that you're just trying to locate the nearest repeater to you. So if you've just taken the radio out of the box, you're not going to be able to transmit until you get the DMR number in there and you get your DMR number from the registration place, which is here at radio.net and you can apply for your your DMR number but just for receive purposes you can just enter the receive frequency so we've got the RT3S here on the left so it looks like the listening frequency is 438 they do tend to be on different frequencies for transmission and receive so let's type into our RT3S 438 2625 which at the moment is in monitor mode but to come out of that just press the bottom button under the PTT to come out or you can just go to menu then go to utilities uh, radio settings and then look for monitor which is eight number 18 here and just turn it off for now okay and you're just on a normal screen now 
Now, to, to be able to enter a digital one, you will have to be in channel mode or memory mode. And you achieve this by holding down the red button. Which we just done. So initially you may see a V on the screen, that's VFO mode. You can type in analog frequencies like one, four, five, six hundred. Oh, it's picking up my hotspot at the moment. There you go. That's analog, not digital. So to go to get a digital DMR one, hold down the red button and you'll be in channel mode. Now you can go menu, go down to utilities with the down arrow, green button confirm. Then go to down to number three, which is program radio, confirm. And now you can, let's do the receive and transmit frequencies. So we're gonna go number one, we're gonna press the green button and press the green button again. And then we can delete with the up arrow. And we're gonna type in the receive frequency, which on screen says 438 it puts the dot in for you, 2625, confirm. Press confirm again, and then we'll go down one to number two, green button, and we're gonna type in the transmit, which is 433. So confirm again, delete, and it's 433, then it says 62, sorry, 2625. Two six two five. Confirm. Let's make sure I type that right. Yeah, it is back. Channel name. We can go number three. Confirm. We can delete it, and it's um. Let's go back the other way. And we can put in the call sign of that particular repeater, which is G three P W J. So like an old fashioned phone, uh, we're too slow. There is a timeout on the menu, 10 seconds, I think. So we'll just go back to menu, back to utilities, program, and back to channel name. We're gonna delete that, get the new name in, which is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Could do caps if you want. Just keep pressing. Fast forward if it's a bit boring. Keep going past it, of course. G, then three. You can see the numbers and letters on the actual keys. G three and then P L M N O P. Then W, J. And then J. Confirm. So we've got the name in there. The timeout timer is how long you can speak. So we're going to go down to 180. Confirm then go down. We don't need CTCSS with digital, uh, but we do need to have the color code. So the color code on the thing says five. Confirm. And what else do we need? Let's go down once. Time slot. Which time slot are they using? Is that shown? Just looking at their list. It's not showing one, so I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna choose one for now. So time slots are like, almost like cutting the channel in half. So we'll just turn up the volume. I'm not expecting to receive anything. It's still quite a distance from me, but that's pretty much what you'll do. So what will happen is if there's a transmission and you're in range of that repeater, it will start to come through on that frequency. You've set everything you need to set. You're not gonna be able to 
transmit and have a contact without your DMR number being in the radio and to do that you have to use software. I'm just showing you what you can do without software. So if I turn back on my hotspot that we've got here. So there's my hotspot. If I type in the frequency which is written on the screen as well, 431550. So you just go back to menu go to utilities menu program radio and this time we could just go add channel I suppose uh, digital down to number two confirm I'm not going to name it now because we'll be here all day but we'll just call it channel for now confirm and then the frequency go back so it's four three one five five zero Confirm, same again because it's simplex. Confirm. Now, again, with contacts, see it says here worldwide, you have to add contacts to this device to have more talk groups available. And I've only added one contact, which is called worldwide, which is number 91. So we just go menu, back to our timed out there. Utilities program. There you go, that's the one we've already done. So the colour code confirm on my hotspot is number one. Colour codes like CT, CSS. Oh, look at that, as soon as that in. Time slot is, is one or two on a hotspot, you choose. And that's it, we're now listening to my hotspot. As soon as someone speaks. I hit the monitor button here, I'll go to menu 18. You'll get all this information coming through as well, which is quite nice. Just need someone to speak now. So we'll end it there. This is the hotspot by DV Mega on Facebook. It's linked to Talk Group 91 at the moment. You know, the proper way of doing this is to load a code plug or use software to completely program the DMR yeah, radio. Hope everybody as well. With hundreds of talk groups. We've got a five degrees. And you have zones. You have color code, time slots. There's a lot to take in with DMR, but once you've got it all working, it's very busy on certain talk groups. And look, this one here is actually Australia. VK3 MBW there. If we move my image, you can see the dashboard of this hotspot. Which works on a browser, so you can put it on your mobile phone. That's all the stations coming in. And then the configuration side is all part of the learning where you've got to put in your. You've got to select DMR, select your hotspot, the kind of screen you've got on your hotspot, DMR number, your ham radio call sign, your location. Your DMR master, they call it. It's the server that's being used for all the talk groups. So it's with DMR, massive learning curve. But you can actually get it up and running and listening quite quickly. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I hope this gives you some sort of understanding of a DMR radio. 73.